All right, this one's gonna be on Ucollage. It is a terminal image viewer, and this thing is freaking awesome. Uh, so let's see here. We have a bunch of images here in this folder, right? And all you gotta do is type in Ucollage, uh, and just push enter, and that's it. And look at this. This is what I always wanted. If you watch my videos over the years, um, what was the first video I did? Uh, W3M IMG display. I said one day someone was gonna create, you know, a image viewer for your terminal, and that day's here. And this thing, it's awesome, man. Look at this. So I can hit the uh, end to go to the next page. All right, next page, and I'll load it. And this one is using not W3M IMG display. It's using like a fork of it, which is called uh, Uberzerg. And that one's more geared towards, um, you know, uh, displaying images here. But you can see it's really awesome and you can go previous right so this is kind of like a gallery view here but if you want to hit the uh, m this will go into like a you know a single image uh view and you can you know browse through it like you normally do and you want to get out of that hit backspace and so that's how it works here so if you want to jump you can do a jump too so let's say if i hit g here you see that it has like the numbers um you know, uh, next to the image names and stuff like that, right? So you can do uh, G, and now I want to jump to let's say uh, seven here, right? Hit that, and look at that, it loads it. Uh, you know that image. Pretty simple. Uh, what other things you can do? Let's let's get the um, hotkeys of this here. So U clash dash H here. Uh, so the modes that we have was it was at the mono monocle mode here which means just you know single images and backspace to exit out of that uh next and preview or the end and p is to go next and previous or like the end of the page and the beginning of the page stuff like that uh what else can you do here so in here you can actually uh, rename the images so if you hit c or, or any of that you can rename you can actually delete it or send it to the trash i mean um and you can actually execute commands on it, which is, you know, something like if you ever use Nautilus scripts, you know, you right click on something and, and do like rotate, uh, resize, shrink or stuff like that. If he has more features to this, oh man, uh, this would be like my go-to program, you know, without using GIMP to do some simple stuff like cropped or uh, shrinking an image or something like that. Uh, that would be great now you can actually rotate in here too so you know you have rotate but this one's for preview it doesn't actually save it so uh, if I do rotate here let's go check that out here right so if I go into this thing here why is it not showing up this thing is still kind of new but um, you know if I want to rotate hit R here and it'll rotate you know, but it, this one will give you a preview. It doesn't actually save anything. Uh, so that's a difference here between, um, you know, the options of you saving it or not. It's, it's just um, a preview. So if I wanted to execute a command on this, I don't know what we got in here. So let's say, for example, this one here, I can do uh, X. And, you know, I can type in like a command. Like, let's say I want to move this. So MV percent s here and i want to rename it to i mean there's a, an option to rename already but i'm just saying like if you have like another command or something like that you can do like uh jbg or something like that and it will say execute successfully now they do have their own like internal um rename instead of using your move so for example if i wanted to do um what do you want to rename here uh, let's say this one here, I can hit, just hit C and it'll actually have like, you know, that's the old name here and I can type in like a new name and we'll call this one girl.jg and there you go. That's pretty much it, right? Although it actually doesn't update it, you know, that uh, image here, you have to actually exit and then reload it and then it'll actually show up. So there you go. That's how you do stuff. Now, if he has more like, you know, features like that, like built in. Otherwise, if you type in out your commands every time, it's kind of annoying. Uh, if you actually have like hotkeys for, you know, if I want to rotate this uh, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, uh, not 80 degrees, 180 degrees or stuff like that. 
um, like you do with those knowledge scripts, which is, um, you know, like pre-built in like aliases, I guess, um, that he has it on here, right? You know, C for rename. Um, this one's pretty cool. If he has as, you know, as more options like uh, shrinking or resizing to a uh, specific dimensions or was that resolution? What, what do you call those dimensions? Right? I believe so. Um, then that would be like a knowledge script, but you know, it's uh, from your terminal already built in, right? Now, this program is called U Collage, so I was assuming you, you can do collages, but you can't do any collages. So maybe if you actually add a mode in there where you can do collages of all the images uh, that you can enter in, like uh, you, you know how you can jump to numbers. So let's say if you want number, you know, XYZ or whatever it is, um, uh, maybe like 1 to 10 or something like that. Uh, and then it turned that into a collage. That would be great because I remember there was a Nautilus script that you can do collages, and I believe that was using Image Magic also. Uh, I'll link you in the description if uh, that one's a really old video, but that that one was pretty cool feature. If he can do the same thing with this thing, th this would probably be my go-to program. Well, it is my go-to program for image, uh, you know, uh, viewer. Uh, because this is freaking awesome that you can do this. And it's mostly just bash and some dependencies. Of course, you know, you need Uberzerk for the viewing and stuff like that for the images. Now, this thing, you know, it, it's for images, but you can actually do it for video uh, also. So the videos, uh, it does require uh, um, FFmpeg to generate the uh, thumbnails, but I'll show you that example here. So, where was that one we got? So we got uh, our, um, you know, videos here, right? And if I wanted to use U collage, and uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do a capital N for no. Look at this one here. It will actually create a um, thumbnail preview for it, and you know, it will actually generate us these uh, thumbnails, and you can see that. If you had like you know a uh, a folder of videos, you can actually see the uh, thumbnails of you know the videos. So there you go. Uh, not sure what you can do with it with the with the videos. I mean, uh, you know, you probably don't want to use this with videos, but the fact that you could, it's freaking awesome. You know. Uh, anyways, that's the program, and uh, I remember the first version. It didn't have any names. It didn't have any of these numbers. But this version, in just a couple of days, he improved it so much. Uh, I, I don't know what else he's going to do with it, but uh, it's really interesting, you know. And other stuff you can do is if you have, like, your settings. Um, what is this here? Because I have my settings to, uh, you know, um, the collage line to be 2 when I open. But you can do some other exports in here with different options. Because he doesn't have any flags, he just has like these uh, export commands where you can put it into your your Bash RC or ZSHRC or whatever shell you're using. Uh, you want to export these variables, and that's how it will use the settings, right? Anyways, you can check it out. This project, uh, really, really cool. It's probably one of its kind because uh, there is not a lot of you know terminal image viewer like this that's really good. Uh, and this one is really good. And I believe, I mean, just in, you know, those two or three days that uh, he just improved this, uh, it's going to get better. And uh, it's going to be like one of my go-to programs when I'm viewing images from now on. Anyways, check it out. If you want to have a terminal image viewer, uh, this one is really good. That'll be it for this one.